I'll be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. I wanted you to see this and see whether we're acting the same way these people are going to act in time. But I think right now what's going on in life is that we're actually operating the way the world in the end time people will operate. Check, check that out for me, if you don't mind. It's Revelation 9, 18 through 21. I used to read where the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke about a brimstone which issued out of their mouth. For the power is in their mouth and in the tails. For the tails were like unto serpents and had heads, and with them they do hurt. And the rest of men which were not killed by these plagues yet repented not of their work of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. Now, the reason I put that in there was the fact that what? This was showing me the prelude of what's going on now. Sometimes seem to be just a prelude of what's gonna be in the end time. <clears throat> is that they're gonna, the plagues are in front of you. The dangers in front of you, and yet, brother, as in, they still didn't repent. And I was trying to figure out how that's going to, how will, will people do that? You know, because if, if you read that whole chapter and the chapter the thing before, that was the beginning of the tribulation period, right? In Revelation, that's when they were bringing in the dragons. I mean, the angels. You're talking, you're talking all these plagues. You're talking about the uh, whatever a third of the people have died. Right. And yet they repented not. This is what goes on in the present day time. Even though you preach the truth, some people are not going to repent. But our pride is to keep preaching it. Because even in the end time, they're going to have angels going around saying, don't take the mark. Don't take the mark. You're going to have these four horsemen, right, Elder? That's what they're going out to do. They, they're bringing these plagues for the whole purpose of repentance. It's brought yeah. during that time people not gonna repent. Mm -hmm. And I try to actually say why people right now we talk about going through something that's real now, right? Right. And yet people still doing what they're doing. How, right. can, how, how do you do that? For the next two weeks, we gotta sit there and be careful what's going on around us because it's danger right now. The super spreader has occurred. And also yeah. there's politics and these rallies and all that other stuff. All these are super spreader events. Right. And the thing is to say that people repented not. Even during the end time. That's why I think all this is just prelude to the end time. And for what? What are they doing it for? Anybody can answer that for why why are people doing why are people not repenting? Why are people not at least not taking safety and and yield into the truth in front of me. Oh, I can I can kind of shed some light on that because um, because of the hypocrisy of America mm -hmm. and the world, uh, which have lied to, deceived, and misled people for hundreds of years and so many different things, uh, is like crying wolf. After a while, no one is going to believe you. So it's hard. Now, when the actual sky is falling, or if it is, we don't really know, yeah. to say it's falling, when you said it was falling 15 times and it wasn't falling. And so now that you're deciding, oh, now, now I'm really telling the truth, and now I really want you to take what I'm saying honestly and do something about it. When the last hundred times you said that it wasn't true, then you can't condemn the people because they don't want to trust you and you've proven to be untrustworthy. Mm. That's the world that we live in. Yeah. And then I know we keep talking about truth, 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 and what keeps resonating in my head is, what is truth? Yes. Because because so many people swear they quote unquote of the truth. And the Jehovah Witnesses say they in this truth. The Hebrew Israelites say, now that we got this truth. So so when you say truth, whose truth? Uh -huh. and, 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 
and because you want them to adhere to your truth uh, yeah they're not going to repent to your truth because they believe your truth is a lie and they have the real truth and so I think that's why it was important that um, signs and wonders would follow and that he confirmed his word yes. with these things because then it proved that it's just not empty words because this thing is being supported and backed up by by things that are happening that I couldn't have brought about on my own when I'm no magician. And so I do think that it's important. But again, too, that's even precautionary because of so many sorceries and different things that are that are going on in the world today. And he talks about that. A lot of people are going to be deceived by these lying wonders and different Ooh. things. So yes, we're really in a volatile situation in the world today because, I mean, how do you trust a person that you've never been able to trust before? How do you trust a government that you've never been able to trust before? But now on this situation, mm -hmm. everybody's going to say, oh, we need to trust them now. Well, now that you've done all this, you're going to have a, a, a vast majority of the people that still, that's not going to be, that's not going to trust them. I mean, to yeah. be honest with you, to be honest with you, if, 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 if I just listen to the news every day, mm -hmm. And that's all I did. And then I walked outside. <laughs> I was expecting to see people laying in ditches dead and dropping dead in, in shopping malls and grocery stores. The, the, the picture that I'm getting from that, that's what I would expect to see. Yeah. But yet I don't see that. And so that's what I'm saying. A lot of times when your words are not supported by actual facts that a person that can see, uh -huh. then they're not going to they're not going to give a lot of credibility to your words. That's just plain and simple. They're not. They're not right. Mm -mm. And here's here's the other thing though. Oh, you know, even with even um even with the experience, people are still denying, which is the hardest of the heart. Mm -hmm. Um we have people who family members who have passed away. And the people will still say the numbers are exaggerated. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now they're not exaggerated in your household. Or with your family members but you still gonna say that <clears throat> or with your friends the other thing is is as I, I think I mentioned it last week when the nurses were on TV and maybe it wasn't with you guys but it was in conversation there were some nurses who were saying look we're pulling people off the ventilator yeah okay who have been in the hospital and when they wake up they're still telling us that this thing is a hoax mm, no okay? that, that they did not have the virus mm. now that is uh, it's, that's not that's beyond hypocrisy it's beyond uh, ignorance but it is denial I, I rejection of almost just for the sake of rejection because people choose to believe what they want to believe now if that's if the if the coronavirus is just a mere example yeah, I think so. of what you're talking about right yeah and again these things are of our own <laughs> hands as it says and then you're right we we really don't have an idea but we do have this as a prelude which is why we have to operate in faith see I, even for us that are sitting here the things that are if we're fortunate enough to live into the future right uh we, our minds are going to be blown by the sorceries that are out there by the other lies and the deceit that's out there by the, the 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 things that that man can come up with i mean when we look at the internet and we see some of the stuff that's out there it's just not <laughs> easy to blow our minds um you know i'm seeing things uh you know with this black friday stuff right you know i was just kind of doing some search and i'm like wow man they got some cool stuff out there that i've never seen before would have never thought of these things again we're going to be all of us are going to be fooled and for me i'm i'm in a situation where you know what? I might be fooled in my flesh, but I must operate in the spirit, no matter what it looks like, no matter what I hear. Okay, um, because it's gonna it's gonna make sense. Yeah. Uh, you know, when we talk about uh, talk about getting them the mark of the beast. Listen, it's not like somebody's gonna come out here with a brand and 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 uh you know with, with all hot and everything and and say hey i'm gonna i'm gonna brand you on your head or on your arm or on your back with 666 and now it's going to happen in a way uh like it's evolving right now with all the technology um you know and and so we 
as, as far as discernment about all of this, it's very important that no matter how our flesh responds and no matter how we try to get by, <coughs> that we operate in the spirit and in, in, the, in, in faith, because this faith that we're talking about is, uh, I think it's way beyond what we're accustomed to. Yes, this, is, this is my belief. Uh, I, th I think it's, it's, you know, you talk about a, when we talk about a text, a lot of times when you, when you guys, fellas, when we take a test, we come to the table um, with the talents and things and we can deal with it. But I think that it's really, really gonna challenge us, yeah. uh, what's coming. And yeah. um, and it is, it is prudent upon us to do like what you have been saying all this morning. And that is that we need to <laughs> preach the truth, preach the gospel, do what we gotta do, get it out there, because that's our mandate. There's a reason why Jesus told us to do this. Yeah. Yeah. There's a there's a focus that my sincere prayer is, that we have to really embrace this man Jesus. Everything is kind of wrapped up inside of him. I remember you asked a question earlier, so what is truth or someone? Jimmy, that. Jimmy, Jimmy mentioned that, and that's the same word that Pilate asked Jesus, yeah. Yeah, and that's that? the same thing that we're going through right now because you know we said we're on the street and we're out there, and I've not seen any people that been on the street, sick, <laughs> just still out there. The only people don't seem to be affected by COVID for some reason or another. So there's, 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 there's a margin for, for doubt regardless of what view you take. Um, there is a deception that's going forth to the United States of America. The country itself was founded on a bunch of lies. And, and I don't think they've, they've just dissipated. Uh, we still do that. Uh, lying on a day-to-day -day basis is called good advertising if you can sell the product. And and I think we see how malleable, malleable the uh, truth is as far as we, we judge truth or are able to discern it. But when Christ tells us, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me, it is a hard and fast kind of a uh, uh, rubric that's given there. Uh -huh us to embrace this man not even the things that are written about him but to embrace him yeah. to know him on <clears throat> a personal note by virtue of his holy spirit that dwells in us to be led of his spirit to hear his voice and to follow it yeah and you know the, the thing that really impresses me this morning is really weird because this is nowhere where we live at it says Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Yes, Come on. Not to thine own understanding. Come on. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've yeah. come to a place where it seems like that is so essential. I'm scared to think anymore. <laughs> it's like, Lord, what what is this really? What is really happening here? Because it can really get confusing. And, and, and I'll say on a personal note, the current administration to me was obviously flawed to the point that it was not trustworthy at all, right? It is just lie. And, but that's not everybody's perspective. Yeah, that, that's, that's a different And point. also, yeah. we have to look at the people who kind of, kind of uh, uh, attack this guy, and I'll say attack, but call his, his, his being in the, in the question. Mm -hmm. his, his credibility in the question. Look yeah. at who they are. Yeah. yeah. Look at their their track record. Look at what they are doing and what they have done. Look at the lie that they are living. And, and, and so you see, across the board, we really have some questions still yet unanswered. Well, you know. Well, you, you know, know, I tell you, let, let me just say this fast as you can go. I don't <clears throat> want to make this a political discussion or anything because that could obviously go so yeah. many different ways but uh thank you I, I i personally don't think i think all of my liars and always have been and always will be I, I don't see this administration no different than i've seen any other one to be honest with you now that's just me that's just jimmy talking but i'll go on to say this um order out of chaos the new world order it's not a new concept it's something that's been written in books for years that people have been putting things into place and we understand these things if we study anything and i'm somewhat 
of a conspiracist. And I know some of you all are not, and that's fine. But I do believe that um, they create chaos that may not be there to move the people and to get people to move in a certain way and to see things from a certain perspective and to behave in a certain manner. And then all of a sudden, they have the resolution and they come out looking like saviors when there was really no problem in the first place. I, I do believe they have to create chaos in, in mass at mass levels in order to appear to be the savior. I, 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 I'm convinced of what you said earlier in that if not but for the spirit of God and getting revelation knowledge from him, there's only one mediator between God and man, and that's the man, Christ Jesus. If you're not getting your information from him, anything you're getting is untrustworthy. Mm -hmm. Plain and simple. And, 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 and whether that's CNN, Fox, or whoever, and, and they, can, they can make anything, a resume, makes the worst of us look great. But that's what it's, de that's what it's designed to do. I agree. That's what it's designed to do. So don't kid yourself. Don't look at my resume and think, oh, this this Negro can almost walk on water and that's all he's ever done. Let me tell you something. I can write a reverse resume that shows the bad things and you think just the opposite of me, I guarantee you. So, so, so we have to watch. In other words, that's why I think it's important that, 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 that we not become friends of the world and get caught up in what's going on in the world because then we're gonna be swayed to and fro by every wind and doctrine yeah. just like it's designed to do and what they do and the purpose is to create it for yeah. and i think that a lot of us have been and i and i think it's very unfortunate last thing one minute i think it's very unfortunate that so many quote unquote pastors and churches yeah. have become so politicized wow. yeah. that all they talk about is 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 Republican or Democrat. If you vote, don't, don't come to this church. If you voted for him, you can't come here no more. Come and you can't call you Christian if you believe in that one. Or you can't call yourself a child of God if you voted for that one. Come I on. think that's a disgrace to the Bible yes. and to truth. I really do. And, 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 I, and, I, and I just think it's, I think it's shameful. But that's the world that we live in right now, unfortunately. Exactly. But, but I think the checks and balances is that too. I agree with you 100%. And that's where we need to call each other accountable, even as you were doing in this situation. Uh, we know the truth. His name is Jesus. Ah. Anything aside from that, mm, mm -mm. <laughs> anything aside from Christ, anything aside from what he's saying, what he's doing, what he's leaving, it, it, it's a lie. <laughs> it's the wrong source of information. It's, it's oh, a lie. What about this? Let me, let me just throw this out there just to, to start a conversation uh, pretty much on the same agenda that we're on. So the church has been saying since I've been a child that these are the end times. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm serious. These are the last days. You know, these are the end times. Uh -huh. You know, the, the signs are shown. It now, is. since I've been a child, I've been hearing it. And so you 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 got the, the the body of Christ saying that for all these years, you know, and you know, how has that affected us as a body? You know, when people are saying this to, to the world and to those <laughs> who are, are in the body. Yeah. But you know, one of the things I want to throw in there, because what, what Jim is right and the truth and the elders well, let's go back to the example. Jesus, right? Jesus said, we, the scripture we even showed today, let's go back to it real quick. I'm going to show it to you. This is uh, John. And, and I don't know if we caught this, but he said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus gave the word, God, the word, the gospel was given to us. He said, I've given that word in John 17. But in John, John 8 here, 39, the answer was said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said unto them, if ye were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. But you now seek to kill me, a man that has told you what? The truth, right? The question is, 
this piece is critical, which I heard from what? God. I heard of God. Come on now. And and the point I'm just saying is that, shall I read the rest of it? I, you read already. The point, well, the, you got to also read that last part. It says, this did not Abraham. Uh-huh. Right. That's good, too. I like that. You 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 didn't do what you say Abraham's your father, but you didn't do what Abraham did, right? And also he's he's putting himself in a position that's greater than Abraham. Yeah. Yeah. But you know saying not even Abraham did that. Right. But you know, one of the critical things I want to show y'all though is that look at this. He heard from God. In other words, when Jesus Jimmy asked what is truth, right? Hey, Pat, what did Paul say? What is true? What the church needs to say, because we're talking about church even getting into politics and weaponizing the gospel for politics sake. The church, we as saints, is supposed to stick with the word that he has given us. You remember that remember that you remember that that, that centurion said, speak the word only. What we as saints and believers is to stick to the word now you can put your gravy on it but make sure they know that's gravy what i mean by gravy you can emphasize something right you can you can put a little twist here but always point it back to what the word said what where is the word coming from right if the word says that you're supposed to if you want to know the truth the truth will make you free give them the what brother as it should give them the word word that's the only thing that really matters. Even when we have, when you preach out there or, or we preach to ourselves, Fred Price said it always too. You can throw out the, 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 the dirt water, don't throw the baby out. The baby is the word of God. You go preach the word only and you live the word only. And, and God, then the people will see the truth. There's a consistency if we just stay with the word. Does that make sense, Brother Jackson? Amen. Stick with the word, what the word says. What was the intent of behind the act of the woman caught in adultery? What was the intent? The intent was, yes, she was guilty of sin. Yes, she should be stoned. But none of you have the right. None of you, because all have sinned and done what? Come short of the glory of God. All right. of us have, we, 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 don't, we don't have that authority. To condemn people, put some out. We need to be preaching going to hell. We need to be preaching how to get out of it. I think Elder John, you like that one spirit one time. I snatched them from the fire, right? Yes. But you yes. snatched them through love. You snatched them not through not through the law. But yes, you said, amen. "What does the word say?" I'm saying is that Jesus trying to say y'all can't understand my words because your father is something other than the word of God. The God of this world have blinded the eyes of people. That's correct. And so therefore we just I said if, if we want to be if we want to be one is to stay always referred to the foundation which is the gospel itself. The kingdom of God, right Jimmy? The kingdom of God is at hand. It is at Absolutely. hand absolutely right now preach it <laughs> that way he did but paul said i don't preach nothing else but christ was crucified why because you have to be crucified daily <laughs> everybody got to pick up the cross daily mm -hmm. and some of us are begging the table chip or whatever you want to call it some of us are but it's okay because really the world needs to see you well, I think that uh, the Bible says that we are the light of the world and we know that light exposes. Yes, sir. And so it's not our place to condemn, but to shed light. And yes, then the light will illuminate. We, we're, we're not. He said, I'm not that light. So 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 it, that he is the true light. The, 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 the light is every man that comes into the world. So we give light to a situation. I just want to touch for a minute on what Myron said. Martin, I agree with you that, that we, you know, for years they've been saying we're living in the last days, we're living in the last days. But I'm going to be honest with you, man. I tell you, in the last year, and just like the Bible compares it to birth pains of a woman going through 
uh, you know, obviously uh, contractions and things, how they become more severe and, 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 they, and they happen more readily. In other words, there's less time between each one as she gets closer and closer to, to having that baby. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and I tell you, in the last year, there has been such an acceleration of things. It's absolutely astonishing to look back now and say a year ago, I don't think any of us could have imagined that we would have progressed in the direction that we are now that quick, that fast. It's been absolutely mind boggling where we've come to and uh, with no, with no let up in sight. It looks like it's gonna get worse and worse and worse. And to me, that's absolutely amazing <laughs> because uh, it's just, it's, it's craziness. It yes. really is craziness. And we couldn't have imagined a year ago, this is where we'd be today, where they want to <clears throat> really wear a mask, social distance, stay away from people. Where is it, if it, if it continues at this rate, what will we be doing a year from now? <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's, that's specifically why I brought that up, uh, Jim. Because, oh. you know, we're talking about how people repeatedly say things, you know, including our government, and it's all to achieve an agenda. Yes. And uh, there was a time where we would uh, we would scare people into the body of Christ, which is not uh, sustainable. No. Nope. You know what I mean? It, it, you you scare them for a moment by preaching fire and brimstone. There's no love in that. Well, there is love in it. There is love. But that's not the good news that that we are meant to teach. It's a part of it, but it shouldn't be the main focus. The main nope. focus should be the life that's given to you Come that on. will prevent you from that. <laughs> not, not the fire and brimstone, but uh, just the fact that We've been talking about the end times for so long that now that it's obvious, <laughs> according to what's going on now, that, like Jimmy said, these are birthing pains, man. <laughs> you know, that, that this world is going to. And when you look at this pandemic, you know, often we, we look at stuff us in this Western world, you know, the United States, like, if it happens here, it's happening in the world. And it really isn't. We have a Western form of mentality and a way of thinking based on our Western civilization. But this <laughs> pandemic is worldwide. It's worldwide. This right. is happening across the world. Yes. And so these are the types of events that let you know that these are real. Yes. Birthing pains. Yes. For these end times. This is strategic. You know, and I'm not trying to say that, okay, well, you know, the end times are at hand or anything like that. I just know that this Peter. event is biblical. It's right. It, to me, it's like Peter. Okay. And, and uh, the problem we get back to is that, okay, the church has been putting that out there and then you got the world with their agenda, you know, just putting out their lives and everything that the only thing that people can actually hold on to is the truth. It's the truth. And that truth is Jesus Christ. Yes. And the cross and him crucified and raised from the dead. That is the only truth that is going to actually pierce the minds the and, and open the eyes of these people. Come on. And it is the only truth it's the only word that Jesus is going to show signs on, brother. He, show he, signs. He, he's going to confirm the word. He's going to confirm that word Come on, with then. signs following. So 